Welcome back to Amazing Life. In last week's episode, I had joined up with Matt from Ozark Overland Adventures, and we ended the episode having reached a beautiful 60-foot waterfall. This week, we continue on to make it to an ultimate campsite located right on a creek with a waterfall. Grab the popcorn because there is epic wheeling and camping coming up. Definitely some rocky sections on steep inclines that made for some traction issues, but nothing we couldn't overcome with a little skinny boat.
guys we've been sitting here chairs in the stream listening to the beautiful water but now I'm starting to get hungry so I've, I have a uh, bacon wrapped chicken breast that we're going to cook up I believe Matt's got some asparagus and I've got some pre-cooked rice should be a pretty tasty meal so I guess it's time to get cooking, right? Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. So hopefully you can hear me over uh, the rushing mountain stream that is absolutely gorgeous, but makes <laughs> videoing a little difficult. Uh, so hopefully this lab mic is helping. So as you may know, I've been kind of going through stoves like crazy. And so REI had a deal on the Jetboil Genesis stove. It had like a 25% off or something like that. Anyway, so we were able to snag that. Holly ordered it online, sent it to Colorado. So when I got to Colorado, I was able to pick it up. What I have learned is in the back of this thing, things that are big and even if they're thin, if they're wide, they're just difficult to find places to put them. Anyway, we got this. I'll be cooking that with that tonight. I'm very curious to see how it turns out. And so here we go. Originally, I was going to um, fix two chicken breasts, one for me and one for Matt. Uh, but then Matt hauls off and says that he's got a bison ribeye. I've never had a bison ribeye. So I'm gonna do one chicken. He's doing one bison. He's got asparagus going. I'm gonna have rice going. It's gonna be amazing. So what do you think? You think that's gonna work out? I think it's gonna work out. I think it has potential. I think it has potential as well. I brought you a, a chicken of the wood. It needs something to... Oh, it's that... It's that fungus. Are you serious? That mushroom, yeah. It needs like some broth to, to soak up some of the juices because it's dry. But it's... Uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's dry, but it's so meaty. It kind of has That's just texture. weird. It has the texture of chicken, doesn't it? That's actually really good. It's not bad. No, that's yours. I have chicken. Oh, is that all my... No, that's yours. So. That's really good. Yeah. Okay, so not gonna lie, I'm cheating on the rice, but this stuff is so good. It's organic, aromatic, jasmine rice. It tastes amazing, and all you gotta do is heat it up. So this is just a little Greek seasoning. Okay, a lot of Greek seasoning. 
and then a little pepper. I'm not going to salt it because we're using bacon. Bacon has already got uh, quite a bit of sodium in it, so I really don't want to overload the sodium. Uh, but I am going to pepper it a little bit. I don't know if you've noticed, but we don't exactly starve when we're when we're overlanding. Chicken and rice is already ready. Rice is ready. And so because I was kind of hurrying it, I had to kind of cook it a little. All right, you got to try that. Bison ribeye. Mm. I already ate half of it. Oh, my word. <laughs> it's so good. I did not expect that at all. That is so I good. I I expected, but. It's so tender. It's so dang good. Mm. It's got that, it's got that strong flavor like meat used to have. Mm -hmm. mm. It's not gamey at all. Not at all. Not like deer meat. No. I mean, it tastes, uh, it's just very, very, very mm. good. That's fantastic. All right, let me show you what we're dealing with here. So we've got a little bison, a little ch chicken wrapped in um, bacon, and then some jasmine rice. So we're gonna get to eating this. You know, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll just sit in the stream and eat it. I think that sounds I think that sounds good. So here we go.
what that been? A friggin' trash panda. Good morning, everyone. So I think the goal today is uh, we are still going to try and make it to a meal at the Ill Art Cafe. <laughs> Yesterday it was closed, and so we didn't get to, to enjoy that on the way in. So we're going to try to get that on the way out. Uh, be probably like a late bre breakfast, early lunch sort of thing, um, depending on how long it takes us to get out of this trail. This has been an absolutely fantastic campsite. I So much... The, the water all the way around me was just absolutely phenomenal. So I've had a blast. Anyway, I gotta finish up and we're out of here. You'll never guess the places that I've been. you never guess the places that I've been. Cause everything is like a dream, yeah, but only in that dream that I live in I'm never gonna let the day begin Never gonna let the day begin Cause everything is like a dream, yeah, but only in that dream that I live in Oh, don't wake me up before you go We were back on the trail and it simply does not disappoint. Uh, all those obstacles are just a lot of fun. Uh, you know, we're making good time now. It's getting, a, I think it gets a little easier from here. Uh, I believe he said that there's a, uh, there's a creek crossing, which we're coming up on now. And then um, maybe a kind of a decent hill climb that we're gonna do. So, and something about a mud hole. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see what those are. <laughs>
All right, well, we're off the little spur that we did to go to the waterfalls, and so now we're making our trek on um, the main road, in essence, that will take us um, take us out. So, hope this has been as much fun for you guys as it has been for me. <laughs> wow, it's been a blast. I'm loving it. <laughs> well, one more creek crossing. Let me know. Go ahead and come back. Come back, driver. You're good. One more driver, driver. Is that the most off camber you've ever been? Yeah. It was 31 degrees on my dash. 31? Yeah. I kept wanting to flip to it. I was like, no, no, no. My steering wheel was upside down. I was like, okay, which way do I push the buttons? That was great. Yeah. And now we've got uh, some mega deep rut up here.
of David does not have sway bar disconnects on his Jeep yet, so this is uh, going to be a little bit more of a challenge because he will definitely lift a tire or two here. Doing good. Stay in it. One more driver. There you go. Follow that. Front tire. There you go. You're good. Stay in it. Now come back to passenger. There you go. Nicely done. Front tire is about three feet in the air. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> Nicely done. Well, that was certainly an adventure. Um, can't wait to see the video from the other side of that. <laughs> so, I think it did really good. Sway bar disconnects would have made it a little more comfortable, for sure. It did it. So, pretty excited about that. Somebody has made a bypass around this little tree. Don't create bypasses. That was not uh, was not that big. So the reality is, the tree fell down, and you know the guys that came out didn't have the necessary equipment to remove the tree, so they just started going around it. And then, you know, it doesn't take long until there's just it's just torn up, and you've got all these miscellaneous locations, um, bypasses, and it just tears up more of the more of the forest that wasn't intended to be done. And so, you know, it's one reason I, when I had the trailer, I was carrying my gas chainsaw, but now with, you know, without the trailer, I'm having to kind of slim down and figure out how to, um, how to carry what I need. And so I really am looking at uh, electric, chainsaw much like mats uh, that I can carry with me and take care of small things like that that come into the trail that would otherwise you know be a real problem so I guess without it I could have used a winch but it would still be a pain all right guys well we officially made it off the trail and now we are uh, just a few miles from Oark and so Oh, the OR Cafe is waiting and I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm sufficiently hungry now. It's crazy as much food as we ate last night that I could possibly be hungry, but somehow that's just how that works. <laughs> oh man, I had a blast. What a fantastic ride. You guys have some spectacular areas up here in the Ozarks in Arkansas. It's just fantastic. Blood. While eating, David and I are swapping footage to, <laughs> to share for our videos. Awesome, thank you. No problem. Look at that meringue, man. Look at that. Oh, yes. Thank there you, you go. Love it. Ooh, it's even so warm. 
<laughs> Guys, what an amazing adventure. Uh, this has been quite the whirlwind tour that I've been on for the past uh, almost four weeks now. Uh, from, from Arizona to uh, Utah to Colorado uh, and then now in Arkansas uh, with Matt from Ozark Overland. Matt, thank you so much. Dude. It's been a pleasure. I'm really... so glad you got to come. <laughs> uh, the, the timing just worked out perfect. It did. It did. And so uh, it's been great to kind of get to know you a little better. Definitely. And, and I've enjoyed following your channel for over a year now. Well, so. I can't wait for you to come back and for us to Look do this again. To Absolutely. So guys, that's it for now. We're both going our separate ways. Until next home. time, as always, make life amazing. Bye. Be Bye. Later, man.